And now it's my pleasure to bring forward the key architect of the bipartisan infrastructure bill, the person who is responsible for delivering it to Congress and more importantly getting it passed in Congress, our great Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg. I am so delighted to be here. Thank you, Senator Cardin. Thank you, Senator Van Hollen, Congressman Mfume, and all of the congressional delegation members who saw to it that we have this bipartisan infrastructure law to make these kinds of investments possible in the first place. I'm delighted to be with you in this season of action, making yet another example of what President Biden's vision for building a, a better America looks like come to life. We are now well into the thousands when it comes to the projects that we have announced across the country. They come in all sizes, but it's safe to say this is very much one of the big ones. And I couldn't be prouder to be part of the Biden-Harris administration that has delivered historic infrastructure funding after far too much talk in infrastructure weeks coming and going in Washington without result. These results come by way of partnership from so many who helped make this a reality. And I want to thank all of the leaders from the community, from the city, from the state, again, everyone in Congress who got us here, transportation agencies, and of course the building trades for all that goes into making today possible. I'm delighted about the work that's getting underway here, an example of the investments we're seeing more and more of as we go into this, the third year of this administration and the second year since the infrastructure law came into effect. Our department focuses every day on building good things well, and this project definitely qualifies as a very good thing. I imagine the workers of 1873 who built the Baltimore and Potomac Tunnel would be proud to see their work still standing. But I imagine they would also be shocked that we haven't invested in replacing it for 150 years. Its condition today accounts for 13 hours of delays a year for a typical commuter. So it is very much time for the Frederick Douglass Tunnels, which America's unions will build here and which will make travel more reliable and faster for millions of Mark and Amtrak riders along the Northeast Corridor. But we say build good things well, because it also matters how we go about building those good things. And that's what's so thrilling about today. This project labor agreement reflects the understanding that when you do these big infrastructure projects, you're not just building tunnel and track. You're building livelihoods, building futures, building the middle class with the good paying union jobs here with careers that can change a family's trajectory. And the unions that are here, they're going to be recruiting new workers across the Baltimore region with a focus on communities that haven't always gotten access to those good-paying jobs in America's past infrastructure investments. That's part of building good things well, too. So in our generation's answer to the New Deal or the interstate highway system, the people building today's and tomorrow's infrastructure represent the full breadth and diversity of America's talent. This agreement is going to make a big difference in this region, just as the tunnels will. And it's going to be a template used by infrastructure projects we are delivering nationwide. So just like the tunnels, it is going to have an impact far beyond where we're standing. Hundreds of thousands of Americans will build skills and wealth as they build the roads and the bridges and the rails and the airports and the tunnels that will be the foundation of American opportunity for years to come. That is what building a better America looks like. It is an honor to be part of this team with you all, and we are thrilled to be here. And with that, I have the honor of turning it over to a friend, someone who understands the importance of infrastructure and who is off to a terrific start as Maryland's governor. Please welcome Governor Westmore. Secretary Pete Buttigieg, this is just one example of the great work you're doing, Pete. Appreciate it a lot. <laughs> 